ya busi ha e smart gana update ya mamu ni na makua by braso se tena se na fe ya de news a odwa yensa kano ya de ebe somo ona bu o ya kene do ahi ne e japon e ya mna shibu jani de ma sin semtra ya abatu mpesu ya sonu ni sima odo e tu jana ni sima odo di tu jani na ni se ewi a se se ube timi aku ni mwa brabu ma ya boldness e wase wunya kukudro sene be ya be temi akonko den na akọ wadim e wa bra bom eno wache no de futu e ko e de ama mebunu a wo mu e wo aye university of energy wo de futu akọ e de ama mo se ono nko fo pi na taika se wo yetu no tu no tu no na enso so sa ko fo no mo ka so yetu no ni nyina aye nibere ni amoya enti no mo se wo yetu no no eno sei ano wache che ni nsemu afa bu se nko ni ntie no is all confidence if you don't have confidence, you will not be bold to take any decision. So it's very, very important. But in our society, anybody who is confident is considered arrogant, which they always say, though, Kere Japan, we're too known. They call me too known because of enviness. The guy can do it. I've done it. He won't buy a nice car. I have a nice car. He has a problem. He won't buy a nice watch. I got a nice watch. You have a problem. But don't listen to those myopic thinkers. You got to think big. And dream big. And do things big. That is the only way you'll be an exceptional human being among your colleagues. Let me tell you. I started from a humble beginning. I was hawking on the street. Every vacation, my mother was selling just on a table. I'll pick some of the items and I'll be going around from Okanshi all the way to Kokumilimli. I have what is on the board and I'll be carrying it, going around Yes, pick a chocolate, Tatra Nazet, yes, raw. I was selling. You know, my colleagues who did not do this and did not also take their education seriously. And they were chasing girls. When we go to Aquinas vacation classes, the rich kids will be screeching cars, they come with BMW, screech it, then they will go and change it, come with Range Rover and screech it. And we'll be looking at them as if God did not create us well. <laughs> not knowing the hardships we're going through, God was preparing us for a better future. Today, with all due respect to the women, and I know the TVs are capturing. All the students who spent their time chasing women, and those of us who could not even afford a spotless white shirt to go to Wesley Girls or Holy Child. Today, I don't talk to women. Women talk to me. Those, those who are forcing to talk to women, don't get today, don't get the women to talk to them. In short, what I mean is that when you spent your time very well, useful, and steady hard, and aim high, you have to aim high. Irrespective of your family, just say to yourself that I'm going to be somebody one day. You have to challenge yourself. Don't give up in life. If you want to live life, if you want to succeed, there are going to be challenges. 
Life is not going to be smooth. There will be challenges, difficulties in your way. But strike hard when the iron is hot. And make sure that whatever you have said to yourself and whatever you have said to achieve in life, you are going to make it. But if you think a fine boy, if you think a fine lady, and therefore the whole world is yours as a student, I'm afraid you are deceiving yourself. A day will come that your useful time, you wasted it, you could not go back. Getting employment doesn't mean you are succeeding in life. You need to move a step further. So starting from here, if you want to get it right, begin to save. Whatever stipends parents give you, try and set aside some amount. And this accumulated amount, when you go home, just go and buy even bread, canned milk, whatever. Set it on the table just in front of your house. Don't feel shy. Many of you think you are graduates and therefore you don't have to do such jobs. You'll be deceiving yourself. That is the beginning of entrepreneurship. When you begin to save your money on vacation, whatever money you have saved as a student, you buy some few items, don't feel shy, go out there and sell. And what she, or Maranso, was I the foot too, as I had them, and Marante and Mabawa, or more, is she more mra, now or two, more for, and what today, and mra was sassier, and Senior Brabonista, a sassier man, no, with free school, more, and no more fair more, and then Waba Bear Kennedy, a Japon, a Bosianco, and a tea and a foot or the Amma and Marante and Mabawa. As an entrepreneur, I don't want to bore you with politics. I want to educate you and share experience with you so that you take your destiny into your own hands. I want to share this story with you before I start. I went to Winneba Secondary School for sixth form. I had a best friend called Lucas Asase. And the father was called Kennel Asasi, a very noble man. Although he was a military man, he was a man of principle. The day that we finished our last paper and went to his house at Winneba Junction, he called me and his son and said, Son, Ken, have a seat. What he told us was that you are happy today because you finished this form. You might go to university or you might not go to university. Therefore, today, from tomorrow, will be another school called School of Life. So after school here, you're going to go through school of life. Today, parents are the ones taking care of you. When you are broke, when you are in need of help, you call your parents. After school, you're going to be on your own. You're going to work, you raise your family, and that is when you're going to com be confronted with life. Where you have kids, and your kids, every child believes that their parents are rich. And therefore, they will come and demand. The word is demand. Because they know the parents are rich, and they will demand from you. 
you will find a job and they will fire you because they don't need your services. You have to take care of your children. You might have a business and your business will not be doing well. All these things will prove to you that your parents who took care of you were indeed wonderful people in your life. Because when you are in need of anything, you call your mom, you call your dad, and they are there. It's going to be your turn tomorrow. You are going to take care of your family. And that is whatever you are going to go through is what we call school of life. How do you get it right? You get it right from here. We are from various homes. Some are from rich homes, average homes, poor homes, and we've all come together. When you see a rich child, a student from rich home, misbehaving, and you, a student from a poor home like Wamiya Japan when I was in school, keep up with the Joneses, what I call keeping up with the Joneses. I see the Jama students. See, the Jama students in Adesado College were very brilliant guys. So when you follow them, when you follow them and you don't learn, they, you will see them learning, but exams, they will blow. <laughs> so to get it right, as a student, you should always remember where you're coming from. It's very, very important. And never keep up with the Joneses, especially the females. What I know about the females is that when they are in the room and their colleagues are well dressed, they get worried. They ask themselves, oh, how am I going to get this? How am I going to do that? Get it in right. Now is your books. And they will come that when you see a classmate of yours whom you thought had the whole world at his disposal and at that particular moment cannot make ends meet then you can say that I started doing the right things the mere fact that you are from a rich home does not determine your success I'm afraid it's not I remember a colleague of mine whose parents were very rich and he was always smoking ganja. When we were in the assembly hall, he would be sleeping. So one day, the protocol prophet sacked him from the house without taking a shower, asked him to go to the assembly hall. And when he got there, the headmaster looked at him and said, You, I hear your parents are rich, but if you continue this lifestyle, your parents will die and leave you the whole world, and you will lose it. This man, as if it's a curse, has lost everything, and I pay his children's school fees. I was an underdog. Momoni aso be like ya mano be share na fe afu fu anya biya shena do comment na go comment section ase eh the amay any update biya sabe kabiano ira be ba be sumo bidding Eric Kinki Macau.